Hey, Void. How you doing? Okay. Normally, I'd be brandishing a box art here for this one, but as before, I'm moving, so most of my shit's getting packed up. So, and I had already packed up the case for this movie, so apologies for not being able to shake that and toss it haphazardly over my shoulder as I complain about 13th Child. So, 13th Child, Legend of the Jersey Devil. First off, I will say, I'm glad to see a Jersey Devil movie. There's not many of them. There's a few. Not many. That said, you know how some movies get better the more you watch them, um, the more you, you see them a couple times. You may not have liked it at first, but it kind of grows on you. I think I've seen 13th Child three or four times now. It doesn't get any better. It really doesn't. Movie's got some ambition. I'll give it that. Practical effects, I will give points to. And I will say the uh, Cliff Robertson is acting his ass off and adding a, a lot of class to this. While most of the other actors just feel like they're ad-libbing. Particularly the uh, guy who plays Riley, the... Uh, no, not Riley. Uh, is it Riley? Yeah, Riley. Uh, the older... Uh, cop who whacked out and got sent to the asylum. He just, the way he's repeating himself, it seems like he doesn't know his lines. I mean, me, I'm stumbling over my stuff because I don't have a script. I'm, I am ad-libbing. He does, I'm pretty sure, should have. Okay, so this involves a, uh, the Jersey Devil. Uh... The plot is so inane that it's kind of hard to talk about, but um, what's pretty much the impetus for things getting going is a criminal escaped and then his body turned up mutilated in the Pine Barrens. Now the district attorneys was who was sending a, an investigator down there uh, is a... Uh, then she's a... Uh, her father essentially got supposedly killed by the Jersey Devil, and the killings was a lot like this one, so she's sending uh, people down there and talking about the keep an open mind because it might have been the Jersey Devil. It's like, hey, this is the district attorney saying this? And she also says that shape shifting has been proven, but it's actual documented cases of it. Really? Okay, movie. Sure. Also, the timeline of this movie is foobar. So, you start with a kind of a chase through the woods, jump like 20 years later, then three days, then it shows the scene in the asylum that goes three days before. It's like, okay. okay. So, and then uh, occasionally it'll flash back to the asylum. But, Every time when it goes, then it'll go like the back, and it'll go like two days before, one day before. Which can work, but one part was particularly confused is one character goes to, uh, is like, we're at two days, uh, like three days before, one character goes to bed, and then just says, one, two days, and then two days before, it's like, and then it wakes up the next day, it's like, wait, are we jumping in time, or are we just being obnoxious with subtitles? Like, I would have figured it was the next day. You don't need to tell me, movie. Okay, so, while investigating the body, they find a claw and decide to go discuss this with a guy around who knows the most about this, uh, Mr. Shroud, who was supposedly his own land for generations, is with the Shroud family. Anyway, uh, they, he had, I'm not exactly sure the entire logic behind a lot of what happens during this period, but, uh, First, he isn't home, so most a couple of the officers who recommend seeing him just kind of go off to investigate elsewhere, while our expert from the, the district attorney sent in, Catherine, our protagonist, decides to hang around, bumps into Mr. Shroud after breaking into his house, and then uh, proceeds to chat with him. He lies about not knowing what the claw is, despite her finding one in his house, and then uh, she decides to spend the night there. Sure. 
anyway. A lot of back and forth and investigation and the characters is randomly being picked off by a giant monster. Though that also includes, like, a couple teenagers were working on this movie just to give this movie some nudity, I'm pretty sure. Because they go out into the woods to have sex in a trailer. Some other kids dress up as a dirty devil to scare them away. And then they're found later by some cops who just say, uh, next time go to a motel. So that had literally nothing to do with the rest of the movie. Okay, so... It's mostly, uh... Scenes of this investigation into this mutilated corpse and trying to figure out how Mr. Shroud's involved. Interspersed with cuts of uh, an old uh, officer in the asylum saying that you gotta let me out. There's something out. You gotta believe me. The Jersey, then I know his secret. The Jersey Devil's real, etc., etc. While this voice that only he could hear is, you know my secret. And I will protect my secret at all costs. This movie's trying to be bigger than it is, but it does not work. I will say the Jersey Devil costume itself, since they did practical effects, which I liked. The back of the box had this terrible CG looking one, so I was a little concerned when I first saw this, but no, no, when the creature appears, it does look, it's a decent attempt, especially considering how low budget this film is, that all the budget clues have gone to that costume, so props there. But the rest of it, doesn't work. The gore effects are okay to bad, depending. But the movie itself is not good. And then, as the credits pop up, the movie has the gall to say, 13th Child, Legend of the Jersey Devil, Volume 1, as if this is going to be a continuing thing. It's not. This movie isn't awful by any means, but it's not good. Uh, I'm gonna give it three MacGuffins just because this movie is trying weird to be good in weird ways and it's just not working. The only things that really work are the Jersey Devil look and the performance of Mr. Shroud by Cliff Robertson. If you don't know Cliff Robertson, he was Uncle Ben in the, uh, the, the in the in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. So seeing him as this sinister old uh, old man who's obsessed with it, uh, with spiders, snakes, and crawly things, whose brother may be the Jersey Devil. It's it's a weird movie. It's worth seeing as a curiosity, but beyond that, Thirteenth Child is not really worth the time. So, that's all on that. I, if I, if my plot synopsis was a little disjoined on this one. It's that's just uh, how the movie was. I don't know if I said earlier, or as before. I don't have a script, but Thirteenth Child came out in two thousand two. I don't. I just throwing that out there. Two thousand two with a but uh, then with no budget. No, and no real ability in this movie, with the exception of, uh, as before, Cliff Robertson. Okay. I love cryptid movies, so hopefully we can find a better Jersey Devil one at some point. Take care, Void.